So, here's a question for you. Do you see a difference between the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup? Because I certainly don't. The Carabao Cup returns this week with its third round stage, and this is where the big boys enter the fray, as last season's Premier League's top seven have been drawn into this round of the competition. A competition that, to them, isn't seen as a priority no more. But I ask, why is that? This competition is no different to the FA Cup in my opinion. I mean, think about it. You win the FA Cup, and what do you get? A trophy, and a guarantee of a place in next season's Europa League. What do you get if you win the Carabao Cup? A trophy, and a guarantee of playing in next season's Europa League. There's no difference in that respect. I get that the FA Cup holds a lot more history than the League Cup. It's a history that has shaped football over the years and has provided many memorable moments down the years with plenty of goals in general, a high standard of quality goals and some shocking upsets which have made many people believe the competition is magic due to its unpredictability and the fact that many smaller teams have gone to much bigger sides and have managed to knock them out of this competition. But over the years, bigger teams haven't taken this competition as seriously as what they probably did many years ago, and instead have used this competition as a place to rest their big name players and give their second choice team, or their kids, a run out. Therefore, taking away a little bit of the meaning behind a smaller team's victory against them by using the lack of first team players as an excuse for a loss. Whilst the Carabao Cup has always been used by big teams to rest big players, as not many take it seriously, and to be honest, the competition is now being sponsored by some energy drink. Up and down the years this competition has had numerous amounts of sponsors, seemingly making its sole purpose to bring even more money into the English game. But history aside, there's very little difference here. In my opinion, the League Cup is the better format due to not going into replays if the game ends in a draw after 90 minutes, and going straight into penalties with no extra time to be played, although I did actually like extra time, and in particular golden goal, but that's another debate for another day. I'm not a major fan of the semi-final being played over two legs, but I think it's better than having the semi-final and final being played at Wembley, as the FA Cup does have that. So what's the answer? How do we separate these two competitions from their similarity? For me, it's easy. The FA Cup needs to guarantee the winner a place within next season's Champions League. It doesn't have to be straight into the group stages, it could be a latter stage of the qualifying rounds. And I say this because with each passing season, the race for a top four spot continues to heat up. And this year alone, there are arguably six teams that are all trying to get into them Champions League places. If you add the extra incentive of qualifying for the Champions League through winning the FA Cup, Bigger teams will start taking this competition more seriously, as they may see it as a better way of guaranteeing themselves a European football spot next season. And it also means that if the upsets are to happen, they'll mean much more than they did before, and therefore a bit of the magic that this competition once had will return. But what do you think? Do we need the format of these competitions to change? Do we only need one domestic cup overall? Or do you agree that Europa League football should go to the victor of the League Cup, whilst Champions League football should go to the victor of the FA Cup? I'd love to read your thoughts and opinions below in the comments section. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button on the way out. If you're new here or want to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video, and I'll speak with you all again soon in another video.